this is quite remarkable. So Reuters has published this completely insane report about how the Pentagon ran a strategic communications, i.e. information warfare campaign in the Philippines to discourage Filipinos from getting the Chinese vac uh, COVID vaccine. Yeah. And they set up an elaborate network of fake accounts claiming to be Filipinos, uh, stating, um, and, and they, they tried to turn uh, Muslim Fili Filipinos against the, the Chinese that by stating that there is like, there are uh, pork elements in China's uh, vaccine, which is, so as a, you know, as a devout Muslim. Really? Yeah, like as wow. a devout Muslim, um, you, you shouldn't go anywhere near it. And they knew that this was that this was going to cost lives, and they knew that this was going to um, have it, massively deleterious effects. But they did it anyway. Yeah. And like, I mean, this is um, uh, this is at the same time. Uh, my friend John McAvoy from the Classified UK exposed how the the US lobbied Brazil, which was like rocked by COVID, to um, uh, reject offers of russia um of the sputnik vaccine yeah so they were just like they, they saw all of they saw a public health issue in like military industrial imperial terms um and it's just like it, it, the, the, i think they referred to the, the 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 they referred to the sputnik vaccine in this the, this report on u.s health efforts in, in in the global south as a uh malign tool of of kremlin influence sure. it's, like, it's a fucking vaccine <laughs> like yeah, you know yeah, which, yeah. Is, I, which you know I, and I, I think i think the russian and chinese vaccines were actual vaccines yeah, 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 um, yeah. they didn't have to change the webster dictionary definition for those ones yeah um, and it's like and it's but like there, you know terrible. i i had a, i had uh an experience in 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 mexico where um i learned that uh people were not able to cross the border if they had um, you know, the vaccine certificate for the Chinese or the Russian vax. They were only allowed Pfizer. They were only allowed uh, Moderna, AstraZeneca, Moderna. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so the, a lot of soft power pressure went into, into like uh, incentivizing the U.S. Mm. vaccines. And you can see that they're building these um, mRNA vaccines in Africa. Uh, Kenya is, is, is the first. Um, Obama was just over there. Um, visiting home, visiting. Uh, but, <laughs> but just like no, but like in all, in, in all, in, but this is but this is the thing as well. Is it's just like I, I, I think it is important to note, and like I, I wrote about this. Yeah. That, that, that there are there are some very interesting strands to the Pentagon being exposed for doing this. Yeah. I think number one is that I mean there, it, this is just it's just quite unbelievable. But like Facebook. As we've both written about, it has um, uh, a threat intelligence center, yeah. which is staffed by like former CIA, GC, oh, sorry, NSA, um, and uh, the, the U.S. intelligence professionals. Now, um, these intelligence professionals, they worked out what the Pentagon was doing, yeah, and they warned the Pentagon, yeah. like if we can see what you're doing, that's a problem. Yeah, so you need to tone this down or right. like do it less obviously, and it's like. These are the same people who constantly tell us about the dangers of Chinese and Russian and Iranian mm -hmm. blah blah influence operations online, and they don't talk about the U.S. doing the exact same thing to far more effectively, I would imagine. Yeah. Um, uh, it, it, that they know is happening to the extent that yeah that they warn them about it, but also, <clears throat> I think that that, that 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 it's quite clear from that the, the, there was a um, a report in the Washington Post um, in September of 2022 uh, Christ it's a long time ago um, that yeah the, the Pentagon had been caught doing this and the um, the inspector general wanted wanted you know answers this, this is the, this is the uh, the uh, West Africa right yeah okay yeah yeah, 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 yeah. where they is... were putting out memes um, portraying Russians as gay and alcoholics yes yeah yeah and it's just like that they wanted a a report on all of this stuff that they were doing yeah um and uh, on their desk but within within weeks this has been rather forgotten now i mean you can open my, my cradle article on on the sure. war, on the war in iran but like it's quite clear that the cia also quote unquote wanted answers and then that tells me that the what the pentagon was doing the CIA was very unhappy about them treading on their patch. Mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. because the CIA also does this. And right. it's like, well, I mean, you know, they, 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 they need to justify their budgets. And it's like, well, if you have another agency emulating and imitating what you were doing, yeah. that is a problem. Right. So the fact that the Pentagon's been exposed at all for doing this is a sign that, yeah, that they trod on existing operations. Yeah. And the CIA wasn't happy about it. This is not, you know, um, the, 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 the Pentagon being uh, exposed for um, positive or benign reasons. But the, I wrote for The Cradle, which is a great independent um, uh, outlet. If you're not following it, you should do. Um, it, it mainly covers events in West Asia, but it also covers geopolitics. Um, there, w- the, the, there was a report by Graphica, which is this very dubious US government funded social media analysis firm and funded by Pyramidia yeah yeah funded by Pyramidia of course um, it, 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 it published this very lengthy report which was of course completely ignored by the mainstream media on what the like Pentagon psychological warfare operations in West Asia and Africa yeah. like, and um, South and Central Asia and it, I went over this uh, for the cradle uh, specifically in in reference to Iran and mm-hmm. what they were doing, like actually looked very sophisticated. I mean, yeah. you know, we we hear a lot about Russian bots, but then it's like auto very rudimentary automated, yeah. um, uh, like like accounts which often publish things that don't get seen by anyone. Like this, what the Pentagon was running in Iran, a network, a huge network of accounts that like ran the entire ideological gamut yeah so they had they had accounts pretending to be Mm pro-feminist uh sjw iranians posting but they also had um hyper conservative orthodox uh accounts claiming that the the government of iran was too liberal it's like it's like yeah it's like the entire ideological spectrum Mm -hmm. had a net a fake network of personas who would 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 post about political issues but also like life in iran and like iranian food and it's like it's i mean that i mean that is is genuinely quite frightening i think that when you're getting into the realm of of all of these intelligence agencies agencies saying we need ai capability right yeah like that i mean that that that, that's that's really you can have a tweet per minute yeah Yeah. oh yeah 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 And, and and it it would yes be a lot more effective and not only that, but also using AI to uh, to censor, you know, yes. I mean, which is something that I plan to be talking about. I'm, I'm going to be covering this Graphica thing uh, for an investigation for active measures in the near future, because mm-hmm. actually, uh, I believe just now is the first time it's been reported that Omidyar funds Graphica. Yeah. Um, I don't think that's come out yet. I've been sitting on that for quite some time. So we we got some we got some really good stuff in the works. Did you did you have more uh, on on this? Well, yeah. I mean, just just go, just go just, just, yeah. just well, just just more generally. I just yeah. I just think that the the it 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 it, it, it is very interesting the extent to which um, social media is just like it's just so heavily weaponized. Um, and it is it 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 it, it chimes with a a very much British doctrine, mm-hmm. um, which is that the, the, the Britain Britain has something called triumph of narrative, which they talk about in never reported on uh, Ministry of Defence doctrine, where which states that well, winning at psychological warfare is the most important thing yeah. because it means that you can still win a war when the physical contest cannot be won. Um, which is a great, it's kind of 1984 meets the Emperor's New Clothes. Mm-hmm. But it's a great strategy until, you know, like, you get nudes. <laughs> like, and it's like, it's like, as we've said many times, like, the Russian military are not going to be surveying the ruins of, like, Trafalgar Square saying, pity we lost the information yeah. war. And it's like, and I think that, it, yeah, it speaks to the fact that in, a, a, there a new Iron Curtain has descended um uh across the world but it is the west that is caught within it it's like you know that the, all they care about now is domestic public opinion yeah so they're probably going to massively intensify attempts to manipulate and propagandize people because they believe well if we can convince even 50 percent of the u.s population that we're still really wealthy and we're still really powerful mm-hmm. and we're still you know number one yeah. And Russia is on its knees, and China is on, on its knees, right. or on the verge of collapse. Then that's as good as uh, as it being true right. when it isn't. Right, and the, I mean, and the people that aren't in that fifty percent, forty percent of the people 
are totally disenfranchised anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's like, I, I always say people, you know, after the 2016 election, people say, oh, well, Hillary Clinton won the popular vote. I say, no, the, the couch won the popular vote. Yeah, because yeah. more people stayed at home oh, yeah. than voted for her. Hey, everyone. Um, if you enjoyed this video or, or any of our other content, uh, please give us a follow on Twitter or subscribe to us on YouTube. It will help us beat the algorithm oligarchs. Thank you.